There she is. We just talked to her, and she told us to fuck off because she doesn't want us to take their power, which makes sense. I think that's fair. It makes sense. So the next thing, I will start off by looking at our quest. Um, dun, dun, dun. So now comes the point in time where I have to make the decision to either divert the power from the geothermal plant to, or rather, excuse me, to either divert power at the geothermal plant from Edgewater <coughs> or from the botanical labs. Uh, I'm not certain what I'm going to do, but I am excited to find out. <laughs> I still vote for helping Adelaide. Well, uh... We shall see. I'm probably going to just make a snap judgment. These poor people that's... deserve better than that. Where the heck? Oh god, everything in here is stealing. Where is the exit? Why is it? You'd think they would have it mark the exits in build when you're inside a building instead of... You need one generic... of those wall signs in bright red. The geothermal plant is in that direction. Parvati... Is in that direction. <laughs> Parvati, uh, let's get going. Um, somebody, we oh. do not kill the chicken. How much you want to bet if I kill this chicken, they Peter. will hate me. Peter, don't kill the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I also do have to remember the controls quickly. What are the? Oh, I can't. It would reload. be reload, but you have no extra bullets. Um, no, that is our yeah. camera is covering the ammo meter. <laughs> our camera is covering the ammo meter. Yes. That doesn't matter. I think the viewers can live without knowing how much ammo I have left. Uh, when I stop shooting bullets, it probably means I've run out of ammo. So far, it seems to be loaded better than before. So that's good. I'm not getting any lag or uh, weird frame drops. But pretty certain that Reed Thompson gave me the... Now, I'm pretty sure if you walk right in, you'll be fine. <laughs> right through the field, Peter. Is this a button? Can I press this button? No? How do I get in here? Uh... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's one way. It's, it's not, not the right way, but... Interactive marauder thugs are lying on you the You probably ground. killed people here. Oh. What? Oh, my God. Oh, this is definitely a lot better. Who knew that changing the frame rate to just cap at 60 would fix the problem so Which specifically? Is, <laughs> I mean, I've never programmed... Well, I can't say I've never programmed a game. I've never programmed a game of this caliber. But I don't know why on, like capping the frame rate would... <laughs> do that. Yeah, why? Because like, it shouldn't I guess it be going above 60 anyway. I guess maybe it's trying. Well, it can. I don't know. Computers. It can't display more than 60 because my monitor can't, but it can uh, It can like make that many. That seems counterintuitive. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty certain if I do this, I can disarm the security fence. There we go. And now I can walk through the front door without singeing my booty. Um, I will view these recent logs. Security logs inaccessible in keeping with Spacer's Choice company policy. All security logs have been terminated in the event of a major emergency, catastrophic event, or security breach. Schedule security updates at this Spacer's Choice facility are critically overdue. Ooh. If you are a member of the Spacer's Choice security detail assigned to this location, please turn in your identification for immediate reprimand. Ooh. So but, it seems like... And if you don't do that... You'll also be immediately reprimanded. By me with a gun. Oh. <laughs> I mean, well, I'm assuming then. I'm just going to be killing everybody in this place. Uh, so we've got a sense that this place is pretty run down. Security's lax. The fact that there's a giant hole in the wall, kind of, you know. <laughs> I also don't quite understand that. what security... Are there real people who, like, work at this place? Or is it all just robots who are going to shoot me on site? Um... A little A, a little B, you know. All right, Pavardi. Uh, she wanna... looks so unimpressed. She really does. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> you know what she's doing? She's giving off extreme oh. Chloe from Stranger Things oh vibes. All right, they've seen my face. Oh. 
I do like this gun. Uh, excuse me, I will get past this. Gun. I just really like the feel of this gun. I like the the sound effects. Oh no, I am out of ammo of that one. <laughs> Time to go <laughs> melee, Peter. I do have a melee weapon. Oh, and I'm out of that one too. Oh, right, well, do I have? I have ammo. You have a lot of that pistol. Yeah, because this is like the normal ammo. She's not. What is Pavardi doing? She's just standing. She's taking the hits for you, oh, Peter. But she doesn't actually die good. I was afraid she might really die. Is that if it makes you feel better, there's a glitch where she really died. <laughs> hatched. Or is she? Is she really dead? No, they come back. Oh, what? How did I do that? <laughs> Q. She seems pretty dead. I'm pretty sure she comes back. She's still listed as your companion. But her health is gone. Oh no. It'll oh be my fine. god. The worst case scenario is we reload the facade save, but oh, like. I'd rather not do that. I mean, it did just sort of auto save. Yeah, right she's before. getting health back. She's fine. Oh, she is. Okay. So the real question, though, on top of that is <laughs> You good, Pavardi? <laughs> she, she can't die. You she's stood immortal. up. She's immortal. That is why her face is like that. She's like. <laughs> You stood and took every bullet that they shot without even trying to avoid it, and talk to her, just see how she's laid feeling. on the ground. Can it? Oh, yeah, okay. How where you doing? Headed? She just wants to know where you go next. Uh, she wants me to talk to her about stuff. We'll talk later, lady. All right, we'll, <laughs> she we'll just talk. died for you. <laughs> Not officially. All right, energy cells. I think that powers this weapon, right? Yes. Okay. So the robots are going to be giving me a lot of this ammo, which is good. I'm afraid to shoot these barrels because they look like they're going to explode, but I also want to see it. You're going <laughs> to kill Pavardi! They do indeed, Pavardi. and they do a specific damage type too. I think she's a little... Uh, Dazed. Confused. <laughs> Alrighty, good to know, good to know that... Uh, the blue barrels explode in electricity. Chaos everywhere. Mechanicals gone haywire. Gunfire. Hearing some screams. Oh, law. I think that was someone's leg. Would like to leave early for the day. Please deduct delinquency <laughs> fee from my pay. <laughs> Thank you. Proud to be members of... Or proud to be member of Spacer's Choice family. <laughs> when life gives you lemons, consider it a free trial. Amazing. Okay, so yeah. this person clearly had a bad day. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> Do you think they have medical at Spacious Choice? Uh, I don't know. Probably not. And this is why we should give Adelaide the power. Why? Because Spacious Choice doesn't care. What does that have to do with anything? The Edge or Edgewater is a Spacer's Choice colony. Alrighty. Let's use the terminal. Let's unlock that office door. There's a lot of messages from Spacer's Choice. Uh, okay, Spacer's Choice property. Do, 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 do. Miss Braden, this letter serves as an informal notification of our company's displeasure toward your management of the Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant for reasons related to exceeding your staff budget in your latest quarterly report. Please select five subordinates to be dismissed immediately. No. Additionally, please contact our office to schedule your <laughs> official reprimand at your earliest convenience. Failure failure to schedule your official reprimand will result in an official reprimand. So does that mean you just get two reprimands, or does one like override the other? Uh, I read that as unofficial and then official, but yeah, they're both just official reprimands. Because it did the same thing with the uh, turning your identification at the gate. Mm. To the esteemed members of the Emerald Vale Development and Oversight Committee, I hope this letter finds you wealthy. Ooh. Hmm. I hope it finds me wealthy. After due consideration of your last letter, I have identified and terminated no fewer than five subordinates <clears throat> who are unable to provide sufficient justification for their ongoing employment. Wow. While most of Emerald Vale has failed to meet its production and output quotas, that the the Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant remains committed to providing cheap, cost-efficient power to the entire region. Seems like that didn't work out for them regardless, though. Yeah. Miss 
Braden, we have investigated the claims made against the profitability of the Greater Emerald Vale region. Our offices agree with you. The fishing, canning, agriculture have experienced decline, while the geothermal plant remains profitable. Our offices are investigating ways to implement additional cost-saving measures. Uh, please be informed that the Spacer's Choice Development and Oversight Com Office has taken a significant insurance policy against the Emerald Vale Geothermal um. Plant. <laughs> As a standard procedure, do not <laughs> attempt to interpret or understand or otherwise extrapolate meaning from this decision. So, oh, and this team of specialists has been instructed to refit and upgrade the plant's population of auto mechanicals free of charge. All right, so, so uh, what I'm hearing is that Spacer's Choice, like, planned this robot rebellion. Is there a robot rebellion? That's what we learned at the other terminal. The robots were attacking, and the guy wanted to take delinquent pay off. Well, one guy was saying that the robots were getting antsy. That doesn't mean there was we a We also rebellion. have seen a decapitated head and robots that attack. <laughs> I'm just saying. I think I'm going to put the eye covering on, because this helmet just gives me one-handed melee bonus. And, and more armor. One more armor, but that's not like that significant. And now I look badass. I would say you do get style points with the eye patch. Creamhild is uh, bringing the fashion to space. Get on my level, Pavati. <laughs> Vardy. I. So that was fun. There's a little ladder. This is a weird. I don't like that I can just go up and down ladders. It feels wrong in this game. Why? I don't know, it's weird. You just sort of float. Oh, okay. You mean, do you think it's over there? Huh? Is I that where <laughs> it is? That icon on my screen? Look she lady. doesn't have that. Oh, that's outside. I don't want to go there. And then you immediately go the wrong way. See, this one says exit, but it isn't even an exit. Is this where I came from? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh my god. Here we go! Gosh, weapons okay. just that, go to crap so quickly. This gun is already, like, broken and unusable. Why does that just look like a life preserver? Didn't preserve his life. <laughs> I live with this voluntarily. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's fine and dandy. Is there any secrets? <laughs> no, no secrets. Oh. This is exciting. Pravati does not seem excited. I should probably be giving her stuff. Can you? Yeah, yeah you that can makes equip sense. give them equipment. Um Alright, Master Control Terminal, plant status. Let's look at that first. So this access report brought to you by Spacer's Choice. Operating at 22% efficiency, power is currently being distributed to these two places. Structural damage detected, please notify. Oh, okay, I was like, where's the choice? Did I accidentally make a choice here? Uh, high likelihood of moderate to severe structural damage. Redirecting power is an irreversible procedure. Power redirection function has failed. Manual override required. Okay. Can you choose to give power to neither? Uh, maybe. That might be an option that I will do. I don't mean for you to do it. <laughs> yeah, You're you the worst, Peter. You are the worst. You brought it up. Uh, oh, some weapon parts. That's all good. Ah! It's cute. Don't murder it. It's labeled as an enemy, okay? I can't... So? Oh, no, it's not labeled as an enemy. There's an enemy over there. All right, never mind then. <laughs> you either gotta, like, oh, find either... a key card or hack a lot. <laughs> that symbol confused me. Yeah, okay, so we'll find a key card. That's good. Keep an eye out for a key card. There's some mag picks and some light ammo. I can't open that yet. I can open this guy. Yes, give me that heavy ammo. I don't understand why this gun is a heavy. This thing. It's triggering me. It's going to make me shoot. It, it. is a friend. <laughs> Let's unlock the door. Oh. Is it one, two, three, four? It's in a state of lockdown. Oh, oh no, you just. Oh, it's there was no. <laughs> that is super insecure. I know, I have the code from Mr. Thompson's card. 
Oh, do you? Yeah, he gave me the, the passcode to this place. Oh, That's how okay. I got in, in in the first place. No, it's not. That's a lie. This is how I get in. <laughs> I just walked through the big hole in the wall. Never mind. All right, personal log. Chester Higgins again. That hole head found him fiddling around with one of the mechanicals. Had to write him up for tampering. Just in case I'm reading this a couple days from now, I'm feeling bad for what I've done. Let me remind myself that I warned him before. He's always been a little crooked in the skull. So he was working on some logic module. Uh, and he got reprimanded. S. Tanaka, Chief of Security. It doesn't sit right with me. Company's been replacing our guards with auto mechanicals. Oh, oh. At this rate, I'm going to end up a Chief of Security with no staff. That seems to be the case. Uh, just a small army of mechanicals knocking about, guns pointed every which way. Got Company it. tells us they're safe. People are liable to break down, but an auto mechanical never will. Seems fake. Alright, Tanaka. I've dealt again. with enough computers to know that's fake. <laughs> Worst has happened. Mechanical's gone crazy. Locked myself down here, just trying to gather my courage. Gonna make a mad dash for the control room. Might be able to shut things down. Oh, well, he never returned. And this is an automated message from the Spacer's Choice Worker Safety Contingency Protocol. A security lockdown has been initiated. <laughs> Anxiety is a common side effect of life-threatening situations engendered by security Fair. lockdowns. <laughs> Fight back against anxiety with an ice-cold bottle of Zero-G Brew. Zero-G Brew, an ale that's good for what ails you. <laughs> Alright, so interesting. So Seems yes. the robots went mad. Like is it mechanical over... Yep, man. Do we know where... So he went for the mechanical room. Maybe we'll find his body somewhere. Maybe he'll have some sweet loot. <laughs> Probably not. What, what ammo is this? Is this light? Yes, uh -huh. it is. Alright, that's good. Process my gun, you bitch. Oh. oh, that's not what I was expecting. I'm probably way too far away. <laughs> I was expecting it to be, like, automatic. Or at least semi-automatic. Oh, well, I'm not holding the button, so it could be. And I'm just not doing it. No, it is not. <laughs> no. All right, very interesting, very interesting. Mechanical sentry dead. There's a little box over here. Can Ooh. I get it? Light ammo. God, I hate when she shushes me. Like, Pavardi, I loud. shush you. <laughs> not the other way around. The robots could find out. Oh. <gasps> uh, man. Plant worker. It's got an armor mod, or a weapon mod. That's good. Just you can't use it, that. but that's good. Alright, so the icon is over there. I wonder, I'm pretty certain different enemies have different weaknesses, and I'm pretty certain that these guys oh. may or may not be weak to the type of damage I'm doing. I think red. I'm assuming red is bad, but I don't know. What do you mean red? Like you're a... Uh bullet numbers were coming out, or your damage numbers I think that's red. just to indicate that I'm doing Incoming. this type oh, of damage. Oh, do you damage. think? Yeah. I did take one down, Pavardi. Thank you. What's the point of killing these things if they don't have any things on them? Experience and so you don't die? <laughs> I guess. Just feels like a waste of ammo. Level head. Not sure what that is. Oh, my gosh, some more reading over oh, here. Yay. Borrowed a copy of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. I think it's volume three. I need something to read down in the pit. They really want me to find this mechanical engineering book. Dude, this is the second time it's been brought up. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to find it. All right, access repair log. Just sent a team of technicians to conduct a complete refit of all our mechanicals. Every sentry and drone. Not my place to say so, but doesn't this run contrary to the Spacer's Choice mission of being as cheap as possible? Uh, I'd like to <laughs> formally express how grateful I am to be part of the Spacer's Choice family. <laughs> okay. A little bit more. Oh, Love oh. this little cult, you know. Mm. Just finished a routine maintenance on our mechanical sentries. Found some strange modifications to their logic modules. Uh oh I haven't had a time to run a diagnostic, so I don't know what's been modified. All I know is these modifications were introduced in our recent refit. 
company went through the trouble of refitting every single mechanical long ago, or not long ago. Uh, I filed a report, but my supervisor told me not to worry about it. You know, I will, <laughs> I will say at least they're not doing the typical, like, green text on a black background because that is like the oh we're going to be futuristic and show computer terminal i guess but also that would make them be very reminiscent of fallout even more so fair enough <laughs> so i will is... also say my terminal text is green <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we're using terminal text in all of our uh stuff so <laughs> I like this little Borg sleeping station. <laughs> I'm just gonna hook up and talk to the Queen Borg lady. Ugh, Queen Bay. <laughs> Alright, I see a button. Let's use it. There's two more. Well, just immediately press it. You didn't even like think. Folk if we send power to the veil. What will happen to them? They will die. They'll either go back home or they die. Yeah, or go back home. Good. Two well, not options. go back home. Go back to the oppressive. Uh, capitalist society. Let's see, is it worth it? Another assault rifle. If I I mean and ammo. One. <gasps> Hot. Alright. Uh, <laughs> it's nothing in the toilets. Let's 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 move on. <laughs> Alright. So somebody just said something to Higgins me. Higgins is alive. What? Higgins. It, his. It said Higgins. Oh, yes, Higgins is alive. Did we think he wasn't alive? Yeah, I assumed he'd be dead. I guess. I guess he did. It said he was coming down here. Yeah, it seems there was a lead down here that murdered him. Something that tried, at least. I feel like it's a safe, like, assumption. At this point, now I'm gonna murder him. Oh, I can open that door. Is it worth it? I hope so, because I'm doing it. Hey, that's impressive. I would say so, yes. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, a workbench. Oh, that's, there you go. Alright, so workbench allows you to repair, upgrade, and modify your weapons and armor, keeping your combat ready and in tip-top shape at all times. First, select the weapon or armor item you want to work on. Uh, choose what you want to do to it. Repair, break it down for parts, modify it with a mod, or tinker to upgrade. Oh, tinker. I remember that being a thing. Um, okay, so I actually am enjoying this weapon. I will click it. Press E to install a mod. What mods do I have? Fun times barrel. Increase critical damage dealt. Reduces the noise of each shot. Neither of those are good. Those are boring. I don't want that. Uh, install mod. All right. So you have to level up a lot to remove it. Yeah, whatever. I'll get another thing. Oh, you can also in stocks. I didn't notice uh, that. I wish I had noticed that. Magazine changes the weapon's damage type to plasma. Okay, so it already rate? is plasma, I'm pretty certain. Oh. Let's make it plasma. So does that also mean it's going to use energy? Ah, shit. You're right, it is. I didn't think of that. That was probably a mistake. Well, maybe not. Hmm. That is a lot. I'm certain that's gonna hurt me. She so did I'm say gonna... it would. Oh, did she? Yeah, she said you're liable to get burned. Oh, wow, look at you, Pavardi. She's Looking useful. out for me. She cares. Maybe I can... Oh, hello. <laughs> Mr. Robot. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the last of them. I like how her voice is sort of muffled now because I put a mask on her. This poor woman. <laughs> I'm just saying it's a nice quality of life recognition of details kind of thing. You know, they put a muffle on someone wearing a mask. It was not necessary. Ooh, what was that terminal? Uh, I'm look at it. Oh. Well, there you go. There we go. I'm so glad I can come this way now. Oh, oh that poor man. <laughs> oh. Bunch of stuff. I probably should have scrolled down because there was more stuff that I couldn't see, but whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I 
What's this? Alright, this is where I would have come in. Okay. Let's go back up. I killed two things up here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was going to say, where is the other thing I killed? It, it, it was ash. It was just ash. That's right, when I'm not lagging my butt off. <laughs> I'm not terrible at this game. It's still so weird that option fixed it. It's frustrating more than anything, but... We also have not talked to anybody, really, so who knows. True. Maybe it actually has not helped. Energy cell... Some skin Oh, cream. thank god you gotta... You gotta... <laughs> Take care of your skin. <laughs> Gotta do my skin routine in this game. Right, another headless person? How are they all losing their heads? <laughs> like, I get the death, because robots shooting them. I'm but their heads are weird. Drop a save. Alas, I'm not sure what the ride is. All I know is the decision's final. Yes, yes it is, Pavardi. The decision is indeed final. And whatever it is, I'm sure it's the one I don't want. <laughs> no, definitely not. It's my opinion apparently doesn't matter. <laughs> and you sell armor parts. Hacking skill is too low, how dare you. Or you need Chester's password. Chester's passcode. So there's some stuff here that I can't do yet. Gotta find Chester. Chester, or was his that password? Was that the Higgins guy? Was that the one? Oh, that would make sense. Where was he? He was in this, like, in that room over there at the bottom, I think. I, I this, I've been here, right? Yeah, this is where I've been. Yes, okay. I guess this door was just locked up there. Get away! Get away! I, uh, uh, how do I get to you, though, buddy? Like, he literally just said get away. <laughs> I don't want to get away. I want to get to you. Right. Oh, you do just kind of flow. He's calling me a phantom. The phantom of the upper <laughs> The Phantom of the Opera, is that? <laughs> Cream Hill, the Phantom of the Opera. Look, Higgins, I'm gonna come get whatever goodies you have to give me, and you're not gonna be able to do anything about it. I thought those were arms for like <laughs> half a second. <laughs> Wait, Phantom! Oh. I'm just gonna take all your stuff since your back is turned. And I somehow don't think it matters. Ah, you found Guide the book. to mechanical engineering. I found it. Get away! Oh my God! Speak Shut with them. Up. <laughs> You're not real. You're oh, not he real. talked immediately. Me, oh, oh, that's glorious days. Get away from me, Phantom Shoe Scram. Ah, uh, shoot! I can't sneak trick him. Uh, okay, let's see. Calm down. I'm not trying to hurt you or great another lunatic. Be nice. He's had a tough day. Yeah, sure. Calm down. I'm not trying you to hurt talk? you. The Phantom's never talked before. I knew <sighs> I shouldn't have eaten that Sprat raw. Oh, God. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your Sprats before ingesting. Yeah. Duh. Uh... Judge him. Slow down and tell me what's going on. Clearly, I mistook <laughs> you for one of the Phantoms of my imagination, which terrorized me on occasion. Chester oh, D. Sad. Higgins. The D okay. stands for definitely His not insane. Pass code to open I use it as a reminder. Terminal. Uh, how long have you been down here? Mm, hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. Higgins. My recollection's <laughs> a touch fuzzy. Talking to himself in the days. third person. Uh huh. And what exactly do oh, you do Higgins here? Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat wrangler, Saltuna critic, Aetherwave personality, chairman of the board, Galactic defender. Sisty Pig Tycoon? Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come I don't a long like way for name. someone who started off as a simple engineer <laughs> right Sounds here a little in this kinky. planet. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Don't judge me, Peter. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on. Can I just get your passcode, dude? Why do I have to ask all these questions? You were an engineer? I specialize in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries. Repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Uh, about that, can I have the passcode? <laughs> if you worked on these mechanicals, you must know a way to stop Look, them. I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they want sure to blow most, they will come most for of us them up, so. With prodding irons. Yeah, they're all dead, basically. Um, ugh. Ooh. Ugh, I can't do anything. Never mind. Gotta get your persuasion or intimidation up. Go level. Don't shoot him. Well, maybe I'll get it somewhere else. Alrighty, Pavardi, let's go make a decision that many people will dislike. Wow. Wow. What I decision mean... will that be? <laughs> Look, either way, it's gonna be something people don't like. It's not my fault. The game wants you to make bad decisions. Well, whatever. I'm sure if I need more stuff here, I can get it later. Excuse me, ma'am. Look, I yeah. know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? Uh, pretty certain I do, yeah. But I guess I'll hear your opinion, Pavardi. I don't power. I think it would be cruel. I'm sorry. That just sort of wow. came out all at once. Edwater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Yeah, and the deserters don't deserve to be punished either. <laughs> Interesting. Ah, uh, he tells me Edgewater's going to die without that workers' sure power. sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy, Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. I see your point. I think I'm ready to Sorry, make a decision. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. <laughs> uh, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry oh, that's about just it. so rude. I was barely listening. No, I'm glad you did. I like really? hearing from you. That's why um, I covered your face wow. with a mask, even though it's not here. Yeah, why is it not showing up? No you should be showing me your face. Oh, that's sad. Alright, let's use the terminal and redirect the power. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. So, do I redirect it to Edgewater or the Botanical My opinion Laboratory? It doesn't matter. It does matter, but I am also the one clicking the buttons. <laughs> so I just reach over. How dare you. I am going to redirect the power to Edgewater. Boo. Oh my god, that's scary. <laughs> Good. That noise very much sounded like it was not coming from my Good. head. <laughs> you deserve that. Poor, oh, scary. <laughs> the poor botanical people. <laughs> you just murdered them, basically. I did not murder them. They are welcome to come back to Edgewater. Where they are they forced choose. to do basically slave labor. Where they are forced to work. Your reputation with affection has changed if enemies are... <laughs> didn't have time to read that because y'all was talking to me, giving me grief. Right. As well I should be. So my reputation with Spacer's Choice has increased. That's good to hear. Very uh, Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Oh, that's not a door I can go through. Neither of these are. Alright. I made my choice. Deserter's Little reputation decreased. Rat thing. 